Hi everybody. I'm finally back in the saddle again and ready for lesson four. So I'm real proud of all you guys for doing such good arrangements on your first try and sometimes second. I'm, I'm very pleased with everybody's work. So uh, today we're going to be learning a little bit about insertion techniques. And I apologize for the uh, funky background here. I'm going to paint this white for the next lesson because it's hard to see, but we'll do the best we can. So, uh, first off, for choosing your main stem, you should pick the branch that's the strongest and has the most character. I don't know if you can see well with this background, or lack thereof, but this one has a lot more curly bits to it, so it's more interesting. So that would be the main stem. And um, also, I steered you a little bit wrong with the length of the stems. I think we should go for more like twice the uh, length, uh, twice the width of your container rather than one and a half. That was me just steering you wrong. So measure from the top, one, two, and maybe a little change even. So just use your eyeball on that. And the next thing to learn is having the material facing up. Um, it's it should look like it's growing toward the light. Again, I don't know if you can see, and I'll put this arrangement against a plain wall when I'm done and post a photo, but this would be facing up. If it looks kind of frowny, it's facing down, and you don't want that. So have it looking up toward the light. And then when you cut it, cut the material at a 45 degree angle and I'll provide an illustration of this. Then put a little snip in it if it's branch material so it will fit in the pin frog better. So you insert it firmly into the pin frog, straight down, and then you can uh, curve, you can bend it and arrange it a little bit to the angle that you want. So the main thing is to get it firmly in the frog and then angle it a little bit. And you'll also see that it's, I hope, facing forward. Not just facing to the side a little bit, but toward the viewer. And again, when you're working, you'll be working from the front. So then, again, your second stem should be about two-thirds the length of the first stem. And placed, again, facing up and close to the stem in the uh, pin frog. That way, again, it looks more like it's growing. And I'm going to snip this branch off because that makes it a little too tall. And then the third stem should be about two-thirds the length of the second stem. And just in case you don't know, this is curly willow here. It's a really pretty material, and you can plant it after you're done, and it might grow. And yeah, I'm sorry some of you still have snow. You'll just have to do the best you can. Crocuses. So the third stem usually goes on the same side as the second stem. Sometimes it could go with the first, but we'll go with the more traditional to make things easy. Okay, so you have your basic foundation. And now with the flowers, these are, I think, stargazer lilies. For the focal point, pick the one that's most open uh, because that'll bloom first and show up. So the lower one should be one that's open. And again, facing the viewer and leaning forward a little bit. And then the other one should be a little either longer or shorter than this stem. So I'm going to make it a little longer since these are big materials here. That's two. And notice I snipped off the leaves toward the bottom. We don't want any leaves inside the bowl, under the lip of the bowl, and that's going to include the filler, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So insert the second floral stem. And now with filler, um, I know some of you had trouble with that, so I'll do my best to explain. Uh, one thing is what I just said is that you don't want any 
um, flowers or leaves below the lip of your container. So that just makes it look crowded down there. So you snip these. And again, that might mean clearing leaves off the bottom of your filler so they don't get into the water itself. And then just insert the filler. This should be a little lower so it doesn't go the same length as the flower. So insert the filler and that's still fighting with the flower a little bit. So I'm going to cut this off and put it lower. And I think this is rice flour, some sort of material like that. So again, bare stem at the bottom, insert it in the pin frog. And if you are having trouble inserting with a really thin stem, like I am, you could put some newspaper wrapped around it. That'll help it stay in the pin frog. So, so again, in the frog, facing forward, and making it so you don't see the pin frog, but still not really low down over the frog. If your frog is showing, you can put some marbles or pebbles in the water, but pretty much you should be able to cover it up by putting fluffy filler at the bottom. I'll show a little bit more. So again, see this is facing forward, but not inside the bowl. And try to have your filler a few different lengths. That's uh, easier on the eye than having it all one length, like I'm doing. So I'll put in a tall one. So there's a little tall one but the filler should not be taller than the, the tallest flower or it will fight with it. So that's the uh, basics of that and I'll uh, provide some illustrations. Okay, thanks.